The weather might be getting cold, but this season is just heating up. And the former Giant draft pick, Dan Campbell, in his second year trying to turn this thing around. So, which teams will be feeling thankful about their position in our Week 12 Power Rankings? Well, let's dive right into it. Number 32, Houston Texans. Last time's ranking, 32. There is no longer a debate as to who is the worst team in football. Securing the first overall pick should be priority for the Texans at this point, but it also wouldn't hurt to win another game or two before the season is done. Number 31, Chicago Bears. Last time's ranking, 29. The Bears' stunning shellacking of the New England Patriots in Week 7 already feels like a lifetime ago. That's now four straight losses for Matt Eberflus's club. And you can blame the defense for it. That is four straight games of allowing 27 or more points. Not exactly ideal for a coach who comes from a defensive background. Number 30, Carolina Panthers. Last time's ranking, 28. The Panthers' defense kept it close against Lamar Jackson and the heavily favored Baltimore Ravens, but the offense stood little chance against one of the league's deepest secondaries. Still, the improved effort from this group under interim head coach Steve Wilkes is admirable and noteworthy. Number 29, Pittsburgh Steelers. Last time's ranking, 26. Week 11 was another firm reminder that this is a rebuilding year for the Steelers. <laughs> The defense isn't good enough to slow down prolific offenses, and Kenny Pickett is going to make rookie mistakes. That's just how it is. Pittsburgh is now just two losses away from suffering their first losing season since 2003. Number 28, Indianapolis Colts. Last time's ranking, 27. No moral losses in football, but Jeff Saturday's group has a lot to be proud of. They were one stop away from handing the NFL's best team its second straight loss. There is no shame in losing by one point to the Philadelphia Eagles. Number 27, Los Angeles Rams. Last time's ranking, 25. When was the last time a defending Super Bowl champion was this low in any midseason NFL power rankings list? Woof. There is simply no way of comprehending the awfulness that is the 2022 Los Angeles Rams. This is the price you pay for going all in, whether it works out or not. Number 26, Denver Broncos. Last time's ranking, 23. No offense to any quarterback the Broncos used from 2016 to 2021, but uh, how was Russell Wilson the worst of them all? Seriously, how does a future Hall of Famer look so lost on a weekly basis? I'm starting to think Nathaniel Hackett isn't suited for a head coaching role. What do you say? Number 25, Cleveland Browns. Last time's ranking, 21. It's a moot point, but if you combine the 2021 Browns defense with this Jacoby Brissett-led offense, Kevin Stefanski's squad would probably be in the playoff race. But alas, this defense can't stop a nosebleed. Not even Deshaun Watson can save them at this point. Number 24, New Orleans Saints. Last time's ranking, 30. Just when you're ready to ride off the Saints, they pull off a convincing win and manage to stay alive in the NFC South race. The Rams aren't exactly world beaters, but this was Andy Dalton's best game as a Saint by a country mile. If the Saints can find a way to upset the San Francisco 49ers on the road, and if they can take down Tom Brady the following week, well, they'll be right back in the game, folks. Number 23, Las Vegas Raiders. Last time's ranking, 31. Ah yes, a battle between the NFL's two most disappointing teams. The truth is, one of them had to win, and on this occasion, it was the Raiders, as they needed overtime to take care of Denver. Good to see vintage Devontae Adams again. Number 22, Jacksonville Jaguars. Last time's ranking, 24. The bye week came at a pretty good time for the Jaguars, all right. They'll face a team that currently boasts a winning record over five of their next seven games, starting with a Week 12 home tilt against the Ravens. Number 21, Arizona Cardinals. Last time's ranking, 19. The Cardinals battled, but they never really stood a chance against the surging 49ers without Kyler Murray in the lineup. Hard to blame Cliff Kingsbury for this one, but you still gotta think that every loss gets him that much closer to earning a pink slip once this season is done. Number 20, Green Bay Packers. Last time's ranking, 18. Stick a fork in them, the Packers are done. We tried to think that they could maybe pull off a 2016-style running of the table after their thrilling Week 10 comeback win over the Dallas Cowboys, but no. Number 19, Detroit Lions. Last time's ranking, 22. Don't look now, but the Lions are coming off three straight Ws. Jared Goff didn't have to do much thanks to a defense that forced three turnovers and a ground game that picked up 160 yards. Detroit won the old school way, which is how Dan Campbell likes it. Another note, the Lions have now exceeded last season's win total. A year of progress indeed. 
Number 18. Atlanta Falcons Last time's ranking, 20. The Falcons narrowly got by the unraveling Bears at home to keep their slim NFC South hopes alive. A Week 12 win in Washington coupled with a Buccaneers loss to Cleveland puts Atlanta back in first place. Never say never. Number 17. Los Angeles Chargers Last time's ranking, 17. You know Chargers fans are sick of hearing coulda, woulda, shoulda, but Brandon Staley's group nearly took down Patrick Mahomes with a banged up defense and offensive line. That is something to draw confidence in. Number 16. New York Jets Last time's ranking, 11. Just a typical New York Jets loss. The loss knocked the Jets down to dead last in the AFC East, despite an impressive 6-4 record. The playoffs are very much within reach, but it's hard to trust Zach Wilson at this phase. Will Robert Sala make the switch? He may have to if he wants to compete for a postseason berth. As an offense, though, I mean, when you guys are only able to score three points, the defense only lets up three points. I mean, do you, do you feel like you let the defense down at all? No. No. Number 15. Washington Commanders Last time's ranking, 15. They are 5-1 over their last six games. Taylor Heineke is 4-1 since coming in to replace an injured Carson Wentz, and the defense has allowed 21 points or fewer in seven straight outings. The Commanders are quietly becoming that team that nobody wants to face on the NFC side in this postseason. Number 14. New England Patriots Last time's ranking, 16. Something tells us that this was one of Bill Belichick's personal favorite wins ever. The man preaches defense and special teams, and his Patriots beat the rival Jets on what was essentially a walk-off punt return touchdown. As always, the Pats are rounding into form in the second half. They are another team nobody will want to face in January. Number 13, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Last time's ranking, 14. Not the best bye week for the Bucs. Uh, the Falcons and Saints both won, so there isn't a whole lot of breathing room in that NFC South Division lead. Tampa will travel to Cleveland to take on the slumping Browns. Number 12, New York Giants. Last time's ranking, 10. No team should feel more frustrated after this week than the Giants. They put up a gross effort all around in an ugly loss to the Lions, who aren't a juggernaut by any means. The schedule doesn't do New York any favors from here. The Dallas Cowboys, Commanders, Eagles, Commanders again, and Minnesota Vikings are next. Number 11, Seattle Seahawks. Last time's ranking, 12. The short-term schedule looks awfully friendly for the Seahawks. They get the Raiders, Rams, and then the Panthers before entering a grueling three-game stretch. Seattle's flaws were exposed by the Bucs in Munich in Week 10. Was that just an off day, or are the Seahawks slowly coming back down to earth? We'll find out soon enough. Number 10. San Francisco 49ers Last time's ranking, 13. The Niners are slowly establishing themselves as the team to beat in the NFC once again. San Fran has reached two of the last three NFC Championship games, and they'll probably make it three in four years if they can keep this up. Number 9. Cincinnati Bengals Last time's ranking, 9. Look out AFC, the reigning conference champions are starting to peak again in the second half, and we know how that played out last year. Joe Burrow picked apart the Steelers at Acreshore Stadium, racking up 24 completions for 355 yards and 4 touchdowns. The Bengals are breathing down the throats of the Ravens for the AFC North lead. Number 8. Minnesota Vikings Last time's ranking, 2. A tough, frustrating loss for the Vikings at home against the Cowboys. You don't want to overreact too much after one game, especially against an elite team, but you gotta wonder how this O-line will hold up against other championship-level defenses in the playoffs. Or if Kirk Cousins is capable of leading his team against top-notch opponents, or if the defense will actually make timely stops against elite offenses. Thursday's pivotal home game against the surging Patriots will give us a good idea of what Sunday's beatdown was. One bad day at the office, or a sign that the Vikings aren't as good as their record suggests. Number 7. Dallas Cowboys Last time's ranking, 8. And the statement win of the week goes to America's team. Look, love him or hate him, you gotta tip your hat to the Cowboys here. A 40-3 road win against a team boasting an 8-1 record? When has that ever happened? We know we said this last year, but these Cowboys really look like a team capable of going all the way. I mean, defense wins championships after all. Number 6. Buffalo Bills Last time's ranking, 7. 
This just in. The sky is not falling in Orchard Park or Detroit since that's where the Bills made their home Sunday. A third straight loss would have led to some panic among Bills Mafia, but they snapped that losing skid with a 31-23 win over the Browns. Huge, because the Patriots and Dolphins aren't going down without a fight for the division crown. Number 5. Baltimore Ravens Last time's ranking, 6. Sometimes you gotta win the ugly way, and the Ravens did just that against the Carolina Panthers on Sunday. The defense flexed its muscles amid an off day from Lamar Jackson in the rushing game. The Ravens are starting to round into playoff form with 7 games to go. They are very much in play for the conference's top seed and a first round bye. Number 4. Tennessee Titans Last time's ranking, 5. The Ryan tannehill Traylon burks connection went off at Lambeau Field on Thursday, propelling the future AFC South champions to a seventh win in their last eight outings. If Tannehill and Burks can start getting into a rhythm, this offense will be that much harder to stop, and the Titans will be that much harder to beat in January. Number 3. Philadelphia Eagles Last time's ranking, 4. It certainly wasn't pretty, but the Eagles narrowly avoided suffering a big upset at the hands of the Colts on Sunday. The Vikings' loss to Dallas puts Philly two games up on Minnesota for the top seed, since they own the head-to-head -head tiebreaker. The Eagles have a prime opportunity to get themselves one step closer to locking up the division when they host the slumping Packers on Sunday. Number 2. Miami Dolphins Last time's ranking, 3. Winners of four straight, the surging Dolphins were on their bye in Week 11. Unfortunately for them, the Bills, Patriots, Ravens, Chiefs, and Titans all won. After hosting Houston on Sunday, Miami will embark on a three-game road trip. Five of their final six games are against teams that post a record of 500 or better. It is go time starting in December. Number 1. Kansas City Chiefs Last time's ranking, 1. Patrick Mahomes' latest heroics against the Chargers have the Chiefs in the driver's seat for the AFC's top seed. Oh, and he's starting to distance himself from the field in the race for MVP honors. KC has won four in a row, and I think they get the Rams next, the Broncos twice, the Texans, and even the Raiders. It already feels like the AFC Championship is gonna run through Arrowhead once again. But who do you think is the team to beat in the NFL right now? Join us in the comments section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.